the investments that businesses need to make, I think, is substantially larger, but the potential for loss is also substantially larger, and the potential for causing a bad customer experience is substantially larger. So more and more, the strategies really have to dive a lot deeper into treating these like you're, you're against a business, right? Just as you would look at you know, a competitor in the market for your product, so are bad actors. As e-commerce has, has grown, right now anyone can start an online business pretty easily. There's, there's a lot of tools and you can quickly generate your online shop really that bad actors would even mimic, you know, these merchant websites to, to a degree that was almost perfect, that could fool the average customer, be able to capture those sales. And of course, you know, especially when they would combine that with luxury goods that have, you know, a very high uh, retail price, they could make a lot of money really quickly and disappear. When you layer that, especially if you are in the e-commerce or you support a third-party marketplace where you're dealing with both the purchase and the payout to merchants, uh, you know, you're dealing with having to facilitate the growth of your business and get more and more sales, right? You want those merchants to come on board and, and sell on your e-commerce platform. Those merchants, rightfully so, want to get paid out, but of course, so do bad actors, right? And they exploit that really rapidly. So how do you gate and control, whether that's using delayed payouts, whether that's, you know, going through additional IDV or KYC, there's a lot of different parameters that you can use and the trade-off on the points of friction are going to be the key challenge there in particular.